What is going on, guys? George here, and today, well, actually, not George. I'm good by, by my gamer name, uh, gamer name because a lot of people knows me as that. Well, what is going on, guys? The ghost here. Um, today we are back in uh, GTA. It's the 5M. It's like the um, modded version of GTA Online. Anyways, we're back in uh, 5M, and I haven't made a video in quite some time. It's like it's been a while, mostly because my computer's been real laggy. And I'm actually working on building a actual full gaming computer so we can do a lot better videos with. So, apologize for such a time span. But today, um, we are going, I'm going to show you how to attach an item or like a vehicle to your truck. Um, car, van, whatever. I've had so many people uh, come on the server and want to know how to do it. So, this time, I'm going to show you basically how you simply attach some to a vehicle. Alright, so... Right here, we have a lifted bison. Make sure you spawn it with your F4 menu. I think it's called Simple Trainer or something like that. I just call it the F4 menu. So basically, we spawn the bison. So right now, we're going to spawn... Um, let's see. Let's get a foiler. Let's go to off-road. Let's just get the street blazer. Alright. That'll work. Turn the music off. Alright, so this is our little foil that we want to put together. We want to put it in back of the truck. Alright, so you want to come over here. Just stay a little bit away from it. Alright, so what we need to do now is we open F4 menu. We go to Object Spawning. Go down to Attach Objects. It's really simple. Um, let's see. Attach Vehicle Menu. You go here. Alright. So, your very first one, it says, select number to attach to. The very first, hang on, let's see. Yeah, the very first number here, um, it says, select vehicle number to attach to. This is one that you want your main vehicle. Whatever you, if I want the full or attach to this, well, we want, to bring, we want the truck to drive. So, the first number is, um, needs to be flashing, is the main vehicle. It says I have two current vehicles because I only spawned two. So you want to click, just hit five, and it says down at the bottom screen, vehicle selected. Go to the next one. You want it to be the four-wheeler. So we're actually going to scroll over. There we go. Uh, and we want the four-wheeler to be uh, flashing for number two. So we're going to hit enter, and it says attach vehicle. So we'll go down, attach vehicle. There it is. The vehicle is attached to the truck. Simple as that. Here's where I'm going to show you. Okay. It's attached to the truck. As you see, it's not going to come off. But it looks kind of stupid. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to take that. We'll go down to Move Attached Vehicle. Now, if you hit Control, you can actually um, dial down the moving speed. Because if you do move speed right now, It'll make it move kind of fast and in big like intervals. So I always go to maybe like five or six. Now see, it's going right there. But we want to raise it up. So your let's see what is it? Eight goes frontwards, two goes backwards, four and six goes left to right, and then one goes down, three goes up. It says it basically up there. Um, so that just makes it easy for you. So we want to make sure the wheels are not down in the truck bed. So we do want to bring it up some more. Now, if you see it's bringing up in big intervals, I'm going to go ahead and click Control and use my arrow, my left arrow key to count down so I can bring it up just a little bit at a time. So we'll go ahead and put that in back of the truck. Now, it looks like it's a little bit too long, so what I'm going to do is hit your F4 menu again. I'm going to get in the truck, drop the tailgate. That way, it, you know, it looks a lot better. Or you can even, like, just get rid of the tailgate. I'm just going to drop the tailgate. Let's see. Vehicle options. Vehicle doors. Go here. Open trunk. And there you go. Now it shows that you're, like, calling it. Now it looks like the tailgate actually sits up a little bit higher than the truck. But, as you see, we now have... Alright, here last spot so Alright, so, as you see now, we actually have a pool in the back. Now, it's not going to come out. I'm going to show you that it's not going to come out. 
see, the four wheeler is not going to come out <laughs> after we demolish the truck. All right. Well, now a lot of people are like, oh, well, I got to spawn. No, no. It's like, okay, say I got to my destination where I want to go. The four wheeler is still drivable, but you can't do it because it's actually like frozen. So what I'm going to do is, we'll just go down to object menu, attach, attach vehicle menu, move, and basically we're going to move it. I always move it out, and then I'll move it down, make it look like we're actually unloading it. Hit F4 again, go back, detach vehicle. Sometimes it does kick it to the side, I don't know why. But we get on the four wheeler and we're good to go. So bam, we're good there. Alright, so now I showed you how to attach a vehicle. How about attaching an object to it? So let's go ahead and spawn us an object. I really don't know what I want to spawn. Let's go to the object spawning. Um, we'll go up to object. Let's see. Hmm. Let's see. We got a road sign. Door. Uh, let's just do a road sign. Where's it at? Alright, so there's a road sign. So we got a road sign. So what you want to do is only spawn one prop at a time. Spawn it, get in your truck, go down to attach objects menu. Attach last spawn object. The sign was our last spawn object. To vehicle all right so now that is attached to our vehicle but we want to move it so move attached object to the vehicle again we can do it like just like this we have our sign you move it up and down however you want we'll put it right there in the middle all right so I don't know why you want to put a sign for but there is our sign so it is connected to the truck it's not going to fall so there we go. What does that sign even say? No fishing between arrows. Do not fish between arrows. Only off the tailgate. Alright, so there we go. So let's go ahead and detach it. There, there we go. The object's there. We should be able to delete it. There we go. Sometimes the delete process is kind of iffy. Alright, so that's basically how you do it now you can take any vehicle now I usually take the big low boys I've hauled you know tons of things I should never haul on it but I did anyways and uh, we actually role play on the server it's called the uh, fuzz uh, the fuzz RP gaming server um, you can actually find it on 5 m we do have a public and a private so we, I've, I, like when we're doing role play, I'll put like big stuff on trailers and like I'll go get a permit at the police station. I've actually done a video of that. Um, but yeah, it's really fun to do and it really flips people out when people don't know how to do it. Like put a four wheeler or something in the back of a truck or um, bicycles on top of the SUV or just stuff like that. Like I've put like dead bodies in the back of the truck before and when they actually open the back doors to search it, there's actual dead bodies in there just instead of just saying... There's dead bodies in back, so it makes roleplay a lot more a lot more realistic. But anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's real short and everything, but I will be coming back with more videos. Hope this really helped you out because we actually have a lot of people coming on server like, hey, how do I do this or this? So I'm trying to like help people out. So I hope this video did help you out because I know I didn't really see any that showed how to do it. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Anyways guys, this is Ghost and I am out of here.